Oh my god, just running around doing errands is not what I want to be doing right now. I took a shower and my hair is not dry yet, so I look like trash. <laughs> it's one of the many reasons I look like trash. Okay, hold on. I have to pick up my prescriptions. All right. I always have to take off my seatbelt <laughs> when I either get my prescriptions or if I'm like at the ATM or something because I am short AF. <laughs> I'm really not that short. I'm like 5'3". I'm like on the short side, you know, but I'm not like... like <laughs> I'm short enough to be annoying, like for it to be annoying. <laughs> like if I'm trying to reach the top shelf at a grocery store, <laughs> or if I'm trying to reach the top shelf at home <laughs> of like random things, like that's annoying. But anyway. <clears throat> So yeah, I'm headed back home right now. Um, what have I been doing? I have been <laughs> going on to um, every, like not everyone, maybe there's like three or four states that I'm looking at their data. Like of, I look at the daily death count and the daily case count. Of course I'm looking at Ohio, like first of all. Like, I mean, I live in Ohio, so I'm more like I spend more of my time looking at Ohio than, than is sane. <laughs> but, um, I also look at, Flor tried to look at Florida. Like I've been looking for the data for Florida, but if you go on to, um, like I want to look at the real data, like the boring data that nobody else wants to look at. I want to look at that. Like I want to look at the actual, like, day by day, day over day, <laughs> like the case count and the death count, like broken down into days. Like, I don't want to look at it by week. I want to look at it by day. <laughs> but Florida, for whatever reason, doesn't have that information at all. Like I looked at like, cause Florida has like their website for, um, uh, like just their regular health department website. And then they have a another website that is like COVID-19 specific, but ne on neither of those sites do they have the data that I'm looking for. And that's, that, that, that makes me like wonder like, oh, because there's, there's this new thing that came out like today that was like, they redacted so like their numbers, like they admit that their numbers were wrong. So I don't know if they took, took it down I don't know, but it just makes me wonder, like, why, why, <laughs> and where is this data? Like, what did you do with this data? But anyway, so I'm, I'm looking at Ohio, trying to look at Florida. I have one for Texas. I have a spreadsheet for Texas because I have family that lives in Texas, family and friends that live in Texas that I like care about. And I'm look, I'm trying to look at, uh, I looked at Wisconsin because Wisconsin was one of like the early openers. So I wanted to see like what their numbers look like and sis, it ain't good. Um, I'm, I looked at Georgia, like sort of, because they were another one of the early openers. I, I didn't start a spreadsheet for them yet. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> the very first spreadsheet I was keeping was the CDC provisional counts. That was the first one that I started keeping. I have like two, three, like three full weeks of updated data. <laughs> Every time they release new numbers, I update my spreadsheet. And I've been updating that spreadsheet for like three weeks. I am <laughs> ridiculous. I know, it's it's stupid. But um, like I look at the end, but the reason I started looking at the CDC counts to begin with is because people were like, oh, well, now magically nobody's dying from the flu anymore. Nobody's just dying from pneumonia because they're attributing all counts to COVID. I'm going to tell you right now, that's not true. So if you hear that, if anybody claims that, that's not true. They're still listing flu deaths. They're still listing pneumonia, you know, and I know COVID-19 causes pneumonia, but there is a column that is like pneumonia without COVID. You know, like that, but also what I've been looking at is the, because what they'll say, what people will say is that, um, like the counts are overblown and like 
the, the number of people that are sick um, and dying, like that's not a true number. Like that is the new claim of people that are stupid. <laughs> um, if you look at the CDC, like Google, all you have to Google is CDC provisional. That's all you need because that's what I Google every day to find these things. I should put it on a bookmark, but I don't. But um, so you just Google CDC provisional. That's all you need to Google and you will, it's like the first result. And if the one that I've been looking at more, like the column, well, columns that I've been looking at more often than I did at first is the deaths from all causes. If you look at the deaths from any cause, like it, do, it doesn't matter. Like they'll, they're counting, um, car wrecks, uh, overdoses, suicides, like any cause. Like the thing is, is that number is increasing and it's increasing by a lot. <laughs> There's like, they have the deaths from COVID at the very front. And then the second column is deaths from all causes. And then the third column, which in my opinion means the most is um, the percentage of expected deaths. And now when you look at these provisional numbers, you have to keep in mind that they are based on death certificate information. So there is at least a two or three week lag. So if you look at data from four weeks ago, that's probably the most convenient. That's when it starts to get complete. So if you look like you can't look at the most recent three weeks worth of data because they're not complete. They're not, they're not filled in all the way. So you look at four weeks ago and as of four weeks ago, we were already seeing deaths like from all causes, like the percentage of expected deaths is at 130%. Like we are seeing like, even as of four weeks ago, like are the deaths we were seeing were 130% over what analysts expected. That is insane. That that percentage is insane. Like, the, so many people are dying, and it's so frustrating because you hear, like, oh, the death count is, is exaggerated, the case count is exaggerated, and then you look at the actual deaths of all causes, regardless of COVID. So there's something there that is causing people to die at 130% over what they expected. That's crazy. And then you can sit back and say, oh, the counts are overblown. No, they're not. They're just not. That's a lie. Stop. <laughs> like, it's so frustrating. Like, for me, because I look at the actual data and I look at the actual counts and I, like, follow them more than I ought to. But, um... <laughs> Like you look at all that and it's like, no, no, they're not. All right. All right. I got to go. It's lunchtime.